Midwest USA, January 12, 2024. High winds and heavy snow turned much of the Midwest into a frosty mess on Friday. Roads and sidewalks across the region become treacherous, forcing some highways to close and grounding thousands of flights. A mess of rigid Arctic air trailed behind the storm, biting at fingers, reddening cheeks, and threatening a dangerously cold holiday weekend. The storm affected nearly 30 million Americans, according to the National Weather Service, which said that more than a foot of snow could fall in parts of the Midwest by Saturday morning. Officials across the region delivered a drumbeat of similar messages. Avoid the storm, keep warm, stay home if you can. In the city of Chicago, Illinois, there could be three to six inches of snow downtown on Friday. Throughout Friday, as the snow falls, strong winds could bring wide-out conditions. Chicago public schools remain open while dozens of other districts across the metro region canceled in-person classes for the day. The snow and wind also contributed to 2,230 flight cancellations and more than 7,600 delays of flights within into or out the United States on Friday, according to FlightAware, with Chicago's O'Hare and Midway airports topping the list. The winter storm led to a full ground stop at O'Hare Airport due to snow and ice. One of the passengers, Shalon Bird, said this was a frustrating day for Chicago residents. Her flight to Atlanta was canceled and her rebook plane at 10.55 was delayed. He also barely made it to the airport. It's been a storm. And then you know, look at Chicago's Department of Streets and Sanitation deployed over 287 plow trucks and salt spreaders to help prevent hazardous roadways in neighborhoods, bridges, and overpasses. Officials reminded drivers to yield to those trucks and spreaders, and they can view the snow fleet in real time by visiting the city of Chicago's website.
more than 240,000 households were without power as of 10 a.m. Friday, according to local media. Most outages were reported in Illinois, where nearly 100,000 utility customers lost power amid freezing temperatures and intense snowfall. Well, in the southwest, damaging wind gusts threatening to produce tornadoes, concern meteorologists, especially in the Gulf Coast region. The Weather Service issued a tornado watch from eastern Texas to western Mississippi. Wind advisories were in effect in eastern Texas, across the Gulf Coast, and up through Vermont. In the northeast, the poleward advance of Gulf moisture will lead to yet another round of heavy rain stretching northward into the mid-Atlantic and southern New England by Friday night. Much of the northeast is still reeling from a winter storm earlier this week that dumped torrential rain over the region, flooding coastal neighborhoods and low-lying areas from New Jersey to Maine. Hey guys, another winter storm for January 12, 2024, or blizzard. The Pacific Northwest will also face the frigid combination of Arctic air and gusty east winds making temperatures below zero degrees possible. The Weather Service has placed widespread wind chill advisories and watches and has advised people to take precautions to avoid frostbite and hypothermia. No storm is windy, it's cold, that's what it looked like.